United Nations Educational Scientific Cultural Organization, UNESCO, launched the Youth Mobile Initiative to empower young people to acquire the technical skills and confidence to develop arms, to resolve identified local issues of sustainable development, especially those related to poverty reduction and chronic youth unemployment. The realm of this system is somehow corrupted, so I'm changing it, trying to put the correct one, and I brought it out from the slots, so which I will still place it back. I've already checked what the problem is. So everything you see on this motherboard, all of them, they need a very regulated temperature to work on. So this heat sink, if it's faulty, the whole motherboard goes hot and it can melt anything you see here, no matter how tiny or big, it melts everything. And it's very difficult to fix. There's some components of the computer you cannot fix once it's bad. You can actually test run it. Mike, the hardware and networking facilitator, is impressed about the progress of the students so far. And I can remember vividly when we started this training, uh, most of our students were way, way, way back. Like I've, I got some student that doesn't even know how to open a computer, how to even operate a computer. Some of them don't even know what a computer is, the difference between a keyboard and a mouse. It was that bad. So I can um, proudly tell you now that as we are now, we are good to go. It's now been two weeks into the UNESCO FCTA Batch 2 Youth Mobile Initiative. A team of six trainees are concerned about the increase in mortality rate of livestock and lack of proper record keeping at poultry farms. They have just developed an application called Agrotech. Rose, one of the UNESCO FCTA beneficiaries, is studying entrepreneurship in ICT at the Youth Mobile Initiative. She has identified that record keeping is also a major challenge in poultry farming and the lack of this could affect productivity and return on investment. The poultry industry is um, because of the viability, a lot of people go into it, but they need a lot of capital, so they need to look to the bank. If you have to look to the bank, the record comes into play also. This software is going to help you to look at the mortality, to look at uh, the disease, and even look at the beds you have. You need to keep a proper record. Enough, uh, gone are the days when we have a lot of um, paper tray, and uh, sometimes um, people forget to keep this record properly. This software is coming in now to help you to organize this record properly, even at a glance. You can just print it and um, present it. You get a report straight from the software solution itself. Too. Poultry farming is one among the important agricultural sectors for food and cash generation in Nigeria. From a market size perspective, Nigeria's egg production is the largest in Africa and it has the second largest chicken population. The sector faces various challenges including poultry diseases, unreliable markets, inadequate inputs and lack of relevant and timely information. According to a poultry farmer, Umoyi has observed the lack of record keeping is a major hindrance of agricultural development. It's not been easy because uh, we've had uh, so many challenges as well on that aspect because uh, we have to operate manually mostly. Um, for instance, uh, during sales and other things, we encounter shortages and it's a big challenge here. Hey, Mr. Kudili, nice to meet you again. How are you doing? The Batch 2 trainees at the UNESCO FCTA Youth Mobile Initiative are at Rofams Nigeria Limited in Brari Area Council in Abuja to test the Agrotech application and to apply it to Rofams every day's business record keeping. Once you sign up, definitely you're logged in and it creates an account for you under a specific department that you've chosen to be under. Okay. The number of things you have in your farm, that's from your chicken to your, uh, uh, your beds and every other thing that you have. And also the ICT is an opportunity to really invent new ways, new tools to, uh, for the agriculture. And for the elf, as you, are also, you also know, today with uh, ICTs, for instance, the mobile phone, 
in all Africa, in all rural areas, more than 90% of the population, even illiterate men and women, they have a mobile, phone, a, a mobile, be it of low or good or middle quality, they have a mobile. And it is a tool for them, namely just to make telephone calls. Whereas it can be used as a tool for information, for instance, information sharing. It's now been three weeks that the Agrotech application was deployed to Rofam's Nigeria Limited. The UNESCO team, led by Udlushola Makoli, are on their way to confirm the effectiveness of the software application developed by the students. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, we, we just have a few seconds to do it. We, we are aware well that uh, one of our students had developed uh, an application, uh, it is called AgroTech. Um, uh, can you tell us about it? Since uh, we've applied the application, AgroTech application here, we've been working easily. It's been good news. We've developed a kind of uh, uh, relationship with our customers out there whereby they can reach us very easily. And it's, it's much easier for them to reach us now than before, which makes ourselves move on. So what's your customer base like now? How many percent have you been able to grow in terms of customer? The production has risen up to 85 percent. So which makes us have more for our customers? I'm sure the management will be happy about this. <laughs> so this is the layers, eh? Just the layers. We have about how many beds here? Wow. The UNESCO team and Umwoye take a tour around the farm. Olushola Makoli is concerned about how the farm has been able to monitor the number of chickens using the mobile app version of Agrotech. Number of uh, dead, dead livestock. Uh, this is number of newborn livestock. Uh, sales per week. Uh, eggs per week. Uh, this is, this it is, is this indeed thing. a dream come true for Umwoye at Raw Farms Nigeria Limited. New technologies are rapidly emerging, and with this great feat by the UNESCO FCTA Youth Mobile Initiative trainees, ICT will be capable of revolutionizing more farms in our communities.